you, to rebuke you, to correct you. The reason that you're upset is because some of you still have a conscience. You know when you sin, your conscience bears witness against you that the way you are living is wrong, is bad. The way you're living, when you indulge in alcohol, when you look at girls, when you lie, what? you love Satan? Did you know he's a fallen angel? Did you know he's already defeated? And I serve the living God? And look what Satan has done to you? Are you not concerned what he has done to you? You serve the devil who has come to steal, kill, and destroy you. And I serve the living God, Jesus Christ, who has given me life and life more abundantly. You are living a selfish, self-centered lifestyle to gratify your flesh, to indulge in the flesh, indulging in your appetites, indulging in your nature to try to satisfy this longing within you because you're bored, you're lonely, you're insecure. The life that you live is empty, empty. You have no hope, you have no future, you have no destiny. And the way you live is of the devil. The way you dress is of the devil. If you drink, you lie, you do things that are ungodly, unholy. And what do you do? You suppress the pain. You suppress the world, the emptiness of this life. Now what is life? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, huh? And then you die, you burn in hell. You're miserable. You're miserable inside. Oh, when you're all together, you all shout and scream. Oh, I know when you're all alone, you have no rest. You have no peace. The lonely. Yes, I do. The Bible reveals the nature of man. The Bible reveals that the wicked have no peace. The wicked are never satisfied. They're never fulfilled. They never have joy. They never have hope. You don't have anything. You have nothing in your life. You're overweight. You have nothing in your life, man. Yeah, you do that which is wicked in the sight of God, and God is willing to forgive you. God is willing to cleanse you. God is willing to set you free, but you continue to live in rebellion. And now you're going to meet the consequences of your sin, your rebellion, your anarchy. Oh, you need to humble yourself. Humble yourself. Don't be so prideful. Don't mock God. Don't laugh at God. Don't ridicule God. God has ears. He hears. The eyes of the Lord are watching. God's in full control. You have no rights. God is the one. Submit to Him. Obey Him. You have no rights. No, you I'm smell like liquor, buddy. You got way Jesus too much food in here, man. Jesus drinks. Jesus drinks all the time. Jesus drinks all the time. No, he did not. He yes, he did. Alcohol. I saw it. He was one. He didn't see it. I'm not an alcoholic. You're not a wino. Are you, you have calling me alcohol. alcoholic? No, you have an alcoholic. What the hell? I can't no, drink. Oh, my God. No, you should go to God. He filled. Jesus. God says, do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with God and you have joy. You have Jesus. You have satisfaction. If you all love Jesus, then obey. I love Jesus. See? See? They know it. They know it. I love Jesus. People are going into your show. Get back in line. You're missing out. We're the same people. Out, Busy high-fiving everybody while the guy is. No way, man. You and me are different. We are not like you. I am not like you at all. No, we are not. Yes, we are. We're not the same. We're not like you at all. No, we are not. We're not the same in anything. You serve the devil. I serve the living God. You serve the devil. I serve Jesus Christ. I obey Jesus. He obeys the devil. I walk in righteousness, he walks in wickedness. Oh, I wasn't hanging on him, he's hanging on me. You need to think about it, people. If there is no God, you have no problem. If there is no God, then what I am saying means nothing. But you know what? There's a God, he convicts you of your sin. And you know your sin. And so you have to react because the Spirit of God comes to convict you of sin and righteousness and judgment. That's why the name Jesus, it penetrates your soul. It speaks to your conscience because you know the way you're living is wrong. It's bad. It's wicked. 
It's not clean. It's not good. It's not pure. The pure in heart will see God, but you're not pure because you live for your own flesh. You walk in the flesh. You love the flesh. Everything that satisfies your flesh, but you're never satisfied. You can't get enough. You can't get enough. Uh, you never get satisfied on anything. Why? Because you're not serving the Lord, you're serving the devil, and he's never going to satisfy you. The devil wants to destroy you. The devil wants to give you STD, a venereal disease. Oh yeah, the devil. The devil wants to rip your heart out, destroy you. But Jesus Christ wants to give you life. Why don't you repent and call upon him and seek him and look to him? You have the Son, you have life. I have eternal life, abundant life. But if you do not have the Son, you do not have life. But you have the wrath of God. The wrath of God. And you're living under the wrath of God, the anger of God. That works in the sense of disobedience. You've disobeyed God. You're living in sin, and I'm calling you to repentance. To repent. To change. I'm trying to warn you of the punishment of sin, hell, fire. I don't want you, I don't want these people to burn in hell. I see the terror of the Lord. I try to persuade men and women to get right with God. Jesus Christ is available. He's here. He commands you to repent. He wants you to turn. Oh, there's no, where's a good, loving Christian at? Right here? And you're going to this show? This show does not please God. It doesn't bring glory to God. It does not honor God. It does not worship God. This worships the devil. That singer worships the devil. That singer worships the devil. Oh, you're destroying the temple of the living God. Yeah, the temple. You know, you don't like that stuff there. You need to get rid of that. Throw it away and serve God and walk with God and obey God and show God your love. Be holy like He is holy. Be righteous as He is righteous. Get receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Walk in the power. No. Because God doesn't love this concert. No, you love the things that God loves and you hate the things that God hates. That's what holiness is. No, you're not, because you're walking into a den of demons. There's all kinds of nasty women that are going to seduce you. There's all kinds of demons here. This isn't a Christian concert. This isn't holy. This isn't righteous. Oh, please, sir, please stop. Sad. Sad, you don't even see you're blinded by the God of this world. Lucifer, the devil's blinded the eyes of the unbelieving. We shine the light. We talk about Jesus Christ, the light of the world, that you might hear. Hear the truth. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I give you the word of God and my opinion. I didn't make God up. God rules. God reigns. He's all powerful. He says, I am God and there is no one beside me. I declare the end from the beginning, from ancient times of things that have not yet been done. God does what he wants, when he wants. He has the right. You have no right to spit in his face and blaspheme him. You have no right to have sex out of marriage and indulge in alcohol. As if you have the right. Oh no. God is namely in right. God has given us right. Right. Now will you come in Thanksgiving? Oh, you need to repent, you'll burn in hell. I warned you. I warned you. I told you the truth. You're living for the devil, and I'm telling you, you're gonna burn. Burn forever. You're gonna be tormented. And I warned you because I loved you. I loved you enough to tell you. Repent before you perish. Repent and get right with God. Repent and be converted. That your sins would be blotted out and time to refresh you will come from the presence of the Lord. You must repent and turn from your transgressions before they are your ruin. That means your sin is going to destroy you. Your lust is going to destroy you. Your greed is going to destroy you. Your alcohol is going to destroy you. Oh yeah, having sex out of marriage, STD will destroy you. Herpes. Oh, I'm telling you, your sin will destroy you. If you continue to sin against God and rebel against God and dishonor God and give no thanks to Jesus Christ who died and suffered for you, laid down his life for you, showed you his love, while yet you were a sinner? Oh, Jesus Christ. He's not willing that any of you perish, but all come to repentance. Jesus Christ is not willing that any of you suffer in hell. Turn back. Turn back. Why will you die? You'll die because you chose to die. You died because you loved your sin. Oh, you loved your pleasure. You loved your entertainment. You loved everything that offended God. But you're never satisfied. You can't get enough. 
There's always something, huh? Always something to distract your guilty conscience. Always something. Smoke another blunt. Oh, you'll have